At the end of this driveway, there's a piece of American muscle history that's been rotting away for 40 years. We found a 1971 Dodge Challenger, and we're gonna try and save it. Now, as you already know, this 1971 Challenger has been sitting in this exact spot for the last 40 years, but it only has 19,000 original miles on it, and it's a three-speed on the floor with a 318 in it, which the owner's telling me is a one of 10 ever produced in this year, making it super rare and super low mileage. But before we dig it out, we should take a peek under the hood. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, man. Is it on the ground? I think the motor mounts are, are blown. Oh man, this thing's a death trap. Speaking of death trap, we thought it would be really cool to come out with our own death trap merchandise, as well as our standard WD shop shirts. And I even got a WD shop hat now. We've been wanting to do merch for a long time, but we wanted to make sure that we would do it correctly. And now we've actually put a lot of time and effort into making something that we thought was cool. If you guys think so too, there'll be a link in the description, shopwdmerch.com, where you guys can find all the merchandise. If you want to support us and support this rescue operation on this car particularly and future cars, then definitely check it out. We really appreciate the support. And uh, it's kind of a slick uh, Halloween fit. All right, so these valves have no stems in them, so we're going to replace them so we can fill this up with air and get this thing out of here. I have no idea if these are going to hold air, but let's hope they do. There we go. Come on. It's moving. It is going up. It looks like it's lifting up and the car is staying stationary. Just keep going until you hear a pop. You'll know when. So then we had our buddy Joe with his tow truck help us get this car out. And Joe actually brought this car to us because it belongs to his uncle. And I want you guys to do us a favor. So Joe has his own YouTube channel and he filmed some of his own stuff behind the scenes of us doing this. And his goal right now is to get to a thousand subscribers. And I think that with your help, we could easily destroy that. So in the description below, I left a link to his channel. Go follow him and tell him that WD sent you. But check it out. This is the first time that this car has seen the light of day in over 40 years. And that leads me to the question of video so leave your answers in the comments below if you're into american muscle what's your absolute favorite american muscle car ever produced or if you're not what's your favorite car ever leave a comment but now it's time to pull out of the driveway and leave to head back to our shop where we had to put it on jack stands because none of these tires ended up actually wanting to hold any air so we had to detail it up on the jacks and we wanted to vacuum out the jams first but we wanted to take a look in the trunk to see if we could find any goodies where do you think the rear bumper is long gone long gone there we go. Hey. Those the hubcaps? Yeah. Not right. Door cards? Wrong. Oh yeah. Pontiac motor. And one door card. Not even both. It actually looks pretty alright. What is that too? These think? are for the rear lights. Oh nice. Yeah, like this goes on this side. And you can see where it starts saying bam, get them together. Nice. Pretty neat. So now before actually washing the car, we're gonna take everything out of the trunk, then vacuum that up and all of the jams on the trunk and the engine bay, and then we'll go ahead and actually start washing the exterior of the car. For all you animal people out there, what could have jumped up on the hood of this car and left this here?
All right, now we're gonna start cleaning the wheels. And while you guys are watching this, I want you to think to yourselves, and if you wanna leave a comment, you can. Do you think that this car is worth restoring because of what it is? Or is it too far gone and should this be a parts car? There is a lot of rust on it and there are a lot of issues that you'll see as we get through the video. But I know that some people with enough love and money for these cars will go ahead and overstore them. So it's kind of like a 50-50 and I'm curious what you guys think. Now we're gonna start washing the exterior by putting a thick layer of our paint safe degreaser on it first so we can loosen up all that grime and dirt. And then Mike's gonna use the pressure washer to satisfyingly blow all of it away. But really quickly, I wanna say thank you guys because when this video comes out, we should have 700,000 subscribers and that was our goal for 2023 and it's only October. And you guys are honestly making our dreams come true every single day. And I don't know if we say it enough or not, but we really, really appreciate you guys. We love making these videos for you and there's nothing else in the world that we would rather be doing. So again, thank you guys so much for supporting us every single week and hopefully moving into the next year, we can keep doing what we're doing and finding you some more awesome barn finds.
All right, so yesterday I had to leave early and I didn't notice this, which there's no door handle here, but I see a wrench and I haven't figured out how this works yet. So I'm gonna mess with it right now. And I uh, just didn't do anything there, good. <laughs> My God. I don't know if we can get the door open now, Mike. Well, no, nope, oh. we can. I gotta figure out how that was because I messed that all up. <laughs> Mastermind of ingenuity decided the factory Dodge door handles weren't good enough, so he decided that this would be the best way to open and close your door. Nice. Look at this, what is this? Oh. This is the thing that goes on top of the filter. You goof off. Oh. Ew. Why is it gonna be mean to me like that? Well, I mean. Hey, leave mean Mike in the chat if you think Mike's a jerk. Dude, Mike's not a jerk. Dude, you don't even know how to. Take it off. Cheap Michael. <laughs> I can't get it. Yeah. See, if you were. just went right down. <laughs> there we go. You gotta be nicer, man. You know. I'm usually pretty conscious of the carburetor when we're washing the engine bay. You know, I want to make sure no water gets in there, but I don't know how much this one. Maybe we'll just put the pie dish back on there. Yeah, it'll be okay. Unless they do a full rebuild, but at that point, just drop a big old LS in there and make all the yeah, yeah, Mopar yeah. guys scream. Now, although this engine's probably completely locked up and no good and needs a complete rebuild or a swap, we're still gonna clean out the engine bay. That way, if someone goes to do that at some point, it's a lot cleaner and easier for them to work on. One thing I thought was cool was a paint to match gas cap. I thought that a lot of these older Dodges uh, came with like the Mopar or the silver chrome gas cap. Uh, so I don't know if this was maybe for the lower models and the higher models had the silver one, but I prefer the paint to match. I think it looks nice. So lastly, before drying the paint, we're gonna apply an iron remover and then use our clay mitts to remove any more contaminants in the paint. And then we'll address the rest of the paint later in the video, but then we'll move on to the interior afterwards. And that's where the real fun begins. I just pulled this filter from outside the car 
And I've never seen a filter in such bad shape. And I think this one probably has uh, seen better days. Taking the carpet with it. Dude, look at this. The carpet's like rusted to the seat rails. I don't think that's glued, is it? No way. Oh, this carpet's roached. All right. Only one choice. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> oh my God. Well. Oopsies. So here's how I know it wasn't glued to the bottom of the seat and it's just the rust. I don't even know how rust would make something stick like this, but it looks like. Is it a book? Yeah, it looks like the owner's manual used to be under the seat. Maybe not the owner's manual, I don't know what this is. Water quality reservoirs and some outdoorsman stuff. It's like way back in the 70s. The floor pan is completely rotted through. I found only one bolt that still had a nut on it. All the other bolts are completely gone. I'm not mistaken, I can just lift this. Oh. Up and take it out. Yeah, I think the carpet's coming with it. Oh, no, 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 it's fine, dude. We're, we're gonna extract that. Oh, we could definitely save it with the extractor. Yeah, we're gonna extract that. Don't worry, dude. <laughs> it's this is high quality carpet. It's gonna clean right up. Looks pretty solid to me. Um, I know what's wrong with it. Ain't got no floor in it. Oh my god! Wow. That's not good at all. Should we check the back? Cause I can already see the floor through the back seat here. Yeah, let's pull it up. Oh boy. Well, this thing had a, uh, I can't even, how do I get in here and do this? Well, you step, wait, wait, wait. You step right into there. Oh, okay. Just don't so get tetanus. I, all I have to do is. Yeah, get in the car. I just have to get in on the ground. Okay. <laughs> Now that you're in the car. Uh, now, that I'm, now that I'm in the car. Is this car. your first time Barney rubbling? Uh, or is that Fred Flintstone? Uh, I'm pretty sure Barney was the one that used to drill. Actually, they both drove like that. Okay, let's see. Ugh. Okay. This is um, the worst we've ever seen. By a long shot. How do you fix that? Welding. <laughs> and you know what we don't do? Well, the only thing we're gonna be able to do on this interior is pull up all this carpeting, show what's left of the floor pan. I guess we're gonna have to get in the car to clean the dashboard, which is actually still in decent shape and, and clean up these quarter panels. But you know, realistically, this car is probably gonna end up being a donor to other challengers to help get them back on the road. Oh man, I did not realize it was this bad. What the heck is this? <laughs> <laughs> kind of looks like that snowman from Frozen. <laughs> What's his name? Olaf? Yeah. Dude, look at this. <sighs> looks like some kind of nest of some sort. <sighs> it feels wet, so it means I'm just touching a bunch of, hang on, I should put my mask on. Did I get my white hat all dirty? Ew. A mouse nest and a door jam, that's a new one. Yeah. Yeah, we have to suck the rest of this out. All right, nothing on the floor. Nothing on the floor. Hey, that one worked work better. It's a bone. That's a bone? That's a bone. A weird looking bone, it looks like a bird wing. This is just a big rusty piece of metal that something that we need to remove from the car because there's no, I mean, realistically, the whole entire floor pan of this car needs to be removed. But for the sake of the video uh, and the sake of just making this car a little bit more presentable to whoever ends up buying it for parts, we're gonna go ahead and just cut this piece. That way we can, uh, I guess, clear up this whole mess that's going on back here.
weight reduction. And as you can imagine, all of that cleaning and cutting left a huge mess on her floor, so we wanted to clean that up too. And now we're gonna clean the seats, which were actually one of the nicest parts of the interior. This one was in mint condition. So one thing I noticed when I was taking off the rocker trim piece off the car was that the head of the screws were paint matched to the exterior of the car. But then after detailing the passenger seat, I noticed that these are all paint matched to the exterior of the car too. So at this point, I'm thinking that that was actually something that Dodge did during this time period, which is such a very uh, minute attention to detail. So let me know in the comments if Dodge did that during this time period, because that is uh, something that is very commendable. And now with whatever interior piece is clean that we could, we're gonna finish by cleaning the windows and then putting the seats back in. And then we'll move back to the exterior to finish the paint in the chrome. Okay, so the seat rails on this seat were so rusted out that I went ahead and just unbolted them completely. And obviously I don't even have a floor to set the seat on. So for the sake of the B-roll, we're gonna use our handy dandy stools to hopefully seat this to where it looks somewhat normal, just so that we can see what the car might have looked like. Good luck. Uh, I didn't need it. Uh, I got it. I think I have them. Now back on the exterior, we'll start by removing the old adhesive from the rear Dodge logo. And to do that, we used a plastic razor and then we pulled out the steamer to get any more adhesive off. And then we were able to use some compound and remove it the rest of the way. Watch this paint go from completely faded to nice and shiny again. Oh. 
And for the chrome, there's luckily not too much of it on this car, but we're still gonna touch up what we can. And realistically, should these tires get dressing? Probably not, but we're gonna do it anyways for the final result. And then we're also gonna put a ceramic sealant on the paint, but if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you like it and you also subscribe to our channel. Again, we really appreciate you guys, and Joe's reaction is right after the end B-roll, so make sure you keep watching. Goodness, I can't even believe this for a half a second. <laughs> Are you kidding me? You even got the tires looking nice and pretty for what it was. <laughs> Holy smokes. It's like, are you kidding me right now? Oh my God, man. I, will, I show my family this. They're going to be like, there is no way. <laughs> oh my God. I seriously didn't know what to expect. Like, looking at it the way it is, like, Dude, I just can't even believe this right now. The paint is in pretty good shape for the condition of everything else. Like, I, I'm pretty sure it's all original. There might be one blend spot on the, the rear quarter there. Yo, you gotta show me. Yeah. He's like, dude, this I, this thing is. No. I'm pretty positive, except for this area right here. It looks oh, like I there was see, a blend I see there. that. Yeah, there was or something. But aside from that, I'm pretty sure everything else is original. I'll show you the interior first, and then I'll, I'll mention. Yeah, that I gotta so. see this interior, man. Yeah. <laughs> oh my. God, look at the seats. <laughs> it's like they Do you notice anything different about them? Look uh, down, look down. <laughs> oh my God, dude, they're here. sitting on the, uh, <laughs> they're sitting on the boosters let me give, here. Let me, let me give you the full. Uh, Yo, you had to do something special to get them propped up like that. Oh my God, man, I can't even believe Brent, bro. This thing is, it looks so good. Dude. I mean, you've seen this car your whole life in that garage. What it is. Like, you know what, my dad's gonna be like, that's what it used to look like. And my uncle's gonna be like, man, it is just so clean. This thing, just for like what it was, bringing it in. Right. And how like difficult it was, like rolling it in. Man, this thing is like just out of this world. <laughs> and since this was the car that inspired our Death Trap merch, we thought we'd hook you up. Oh! Sticker, hat, shirt. Oh, I got the sticker, the yeah. hat, let's go. <laughs> It's not much, but it's something to say thank you. Right. Because uh, uh, we had a lot of fun designing the shirt. Fit, we had even more fun detail in the car, so. <laughs> Seriously, uh, wait, let me toss this shirt on. Yeah. Dude, look at this thing, it's sick. You already got it on, though. Yeah. Like, look at that thing. My goodness. Yeah, this was the whole entire inspiration Bro. for the shirt. So it we took was... a lot of time. I had to make sure they edited the skeleton in a certain way. And Bro, yeah, this, there this you go. shirt is sick. <laughs> I got the death trap. The, there you the, go, man. The trucker bucket hat. Yeah, this thing is definitely. A death trap. Yeah, sure. the death yeah. trap. Like that's what it could be quoted as from now on. <laughs> yeah. The death trap. It'll be known as the death trap for Bro, sure. At I least for us. And if you guys enjoyed the video, please drop a thumbs up if you want this video to reach more people. It really helps us out. And if you want to see more videos like this, we post every Saturday morning. So if you want to see more, hit subscribe and we'll catch you next time. Subscribe, bro. It is so <laughs> worth it. This, this is seriously unreal. Brent and RJ, they are they are out of this world. Uh, I mean, thank you, you don't get better than this.